Good evening, I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us tonight. Should I stay or should I go is the question many are asking themselves when deciding whether to visit a loved one during the pandemic. And now a new question. What if that loved one is vaccinated? CBS 3's John Cardinelli is getting answers tonight from a doctor and hearing from someone very happy to have recently gotten the shot. You're going to be on television. I am. <laughs> Delivering the mail up and down the halls of the Benedictine Living Community in Duluth is a daily routine for 92-year-old Julie Schwager and 66-year-old Curtis Jones. We've gotten real close and we've gotten to know each other very, very well. For the last year, the two have been friends and recently they both received their COVID-19 vaccine. It was very rewarding. And I felt, you know, maybe we're making headway here. Visitation for those in assisted living communities has been very limited over the last year and is based entirely on the county's positivity rate and outbreaks in the building. Every single week we evaluate both of those circumstances and then define what our visitation status is for the week. What's that, what are you delivering? That's Barb Westberg, executive director at Benedictine. She says the building is currently allowing general indoor visitation but with nearly 250 residents approaching full vaccination, no clear guidelines have come up from the CDC or health department on visitation. We do know that just because our residents are now vaccinated, we're not going to be able to let up on the precautions that we've done. Without new guidance on visiting loved ones who have been vaccinated, many are asking themselves what to do. There's not a clear, easy answer that once you've been vaccinated, you're good to go because some people will still become ill even though they're fully vaccinated. Dr. Thompson, an infectious disease doctor at St. Luke's, says while vaccines are proven to be very effective, there are still important decisions to make. If you want to visit a loved one who's been fully vaccinated, have you recently been exposed to someone who could have had COVID? Could you wear a mask? Um, could you do it in a well-ventilated space? I think all of those things need to be considered in order to reduce that risk. Never I switched in my life and I don't plan on doing it. For Julie Schwager, her daughter has decided it's best they talk over the phone for now since she has not received her shot. But as far as visiting, we're both very comfortable with what we're doing. And for Curtis, his sister is waiting as well. We got to get the all clear first, you know, and then when that, that happens, yeah, I think my sister and I, are, we want to see each other really bad. But the two won't be alone. We chat quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> he chats quite a bit. As friends have now become more like it's family. Good. It's opened up a lot more than it was. Westberg says overall visitation has gone up since vaccination has started.